What's going on, folks? JJ here. Welcome to another episode of Bullshit TV and the ModTube genre. What is this video about? Well, before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, you've been here before and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please take a moment of your time, go right down below, hit that but subscribe button, and hit that notification bell so when I do drop a video, you'll be notified. Let's get into it. Lewis Kasman. Now, as you know, Lewis Kasman, three weeks, ago, three weeks ago, was supposed to do an interview with Jimmy Calandra. Uh, something went down or something didn't go down that Lewis Kasman ended up doing an interview with Jeff Nadeau. Now, whether that had been Jimmy Calandra's fault, been Lewis Kasman's fault, we don't know. But given the track record of Lewis Kasman, it may have been a scumbag move. We don't know yet, okay? And this has nothing to do with Jeff Nadeau. Jeff Nadeau's interview with with Lewis Kasman was really great. It was an excellent interview. It was insightful. You got to see Lewis Kasman uh, for what he is. And it is what it is. So this has no bearing on Jeff Nadeau. We're going to talk about Lewis Kasman. So, here we go. Now, as we know, Louis Kasman was behind the scenes and was around John Gotti quite a bit. Now, that has not been disputed. That has been confirmed by uh, Mikey Scars. That has been confirmed by Sammy the Bull. Anyway, but let's look at Louis Kasman. Now, he was the cash man, okay, for the Gottis and for the Gambino family. Worked in the uh, clothing or uh, the garment section. He would handle the Gotti fortune at one time was $11 million. He would handle, hand out money for expenses, emergencies, lawyers, that sort of thing. Now, and it was either 1996 or 1997. Lewis Kasman is convicted of perjury. He does six months when he comes out. He says seven, but it's six months, six, seven months. Who cares? Who really gives a fuck? All right. But he comes out and decides to be a confidential informant against the Gaudis and the Gambino family. Now, what he did in that period of time as a confidential informant was he would tell the FBI how John Gotti was running the family, the Gambino family, behind bars. And such, he would bring in lawyers give them written instruction or oral, oral instruction to go out there and pass it over to John Gotti Jr., who was the acting boss of the family at the time. This went on several years. Uh, when John Gotti got sick, Louis Kasman was out in the forefront in the media, drawing attention to himself, talking about how John Gotti was being treated uh, for cancer, how poorly he was being treated, how the treatments were poor, or that he wasn't getting the treatment that he needed. Now, we do know that in 2000, when John Gotti died, Lewis Kasman was the one in charge of the eulogy. And he handled the eulogy. But in the meantime, he was still a confidential informant for the FBI. This is all according to the FBI, of course. 2005, Lewis Kasman becomes a paid informant for the FBI. According to the FBI, he was paid $12,000 a month, $144,000 annually for two years. So he made $288,000 at least. Uh, he did not dispute that when it was brought up to, uh, brought in front, of, in front of him with Jeff Nadeau. Meantime, well, he's wearing the wires. He's wearing the wires on people like uh, Victoria Gotti, just all the Gotti children. Uh, it is said that he wore the wire with John Gotti's uh, wife. Uh, he says that the wire started malfunctioning or recording device. Also, in 2005, he decided to wear a wire in one of the three trials against John Gotti. He even tried to jam up two Gotti lawyers. John Gotti Jr.'s lawyer and Pete Gotti uh, Jr.'s lawyer. One Jeffrey uh, Lickman and one Joseph uh, Bondi. In the meantime, the whole time this is all going on, 
he did tell the feds how he would hand out that hundreds of thousands of dollars to all the Gambino and Gaudi lawyers, which included Jerry Chappelle and Joseph Caruso. He goes off to Florida. Now, he's had an extensive run in Florida. 2015, he was arrested and charged with felony grand theft and larceny after forging a check and cashing it in a Boca Raton bank. Now, what makes this really funny was it was his lawyer's check, the guy that represented him. It was one Nicholas Stephens. Louis Kasman would go on to state that Stephens had borrowed 4200 from him and was not going to pay him back. So they came to an agreement. He uh, went to uh, Stephens' law Stephens. office. Stephens handed him the check. He took it down and cashed it for $5,300. Stephens says that he stole the check and forged it. There is video evidence of him at the bank cashing said check. Now, in 2016, Louis Kasman would claim to be a hero and take credit for the following. This is from adopted son of John Gotti said he helped FBI take down former deputy sheriff. And this is what it says. The so-called adopted son of John Gotti, the late Gambino crime boss, is taking credit for the FBI raiding the Florida home of a former deputy sheriff on Monday. Louis Kasman, 59 at the time, this is eight years ago, told the Daily News that he prompted the raid by secretly recording the ex-deputy Mark Dugan for the FBI. He states, I did it because it was the right thing to do, said Kasman, claiming he feared Dugan was planning to harm the current sheriff and deputy sheriff of Palm Beach. Mark Dugan, the former deputy whose house was raided, responded by saying, Kasman, Kasman doesn't know what he's talking about. He's a fucking whack job, Dugan told Daily News. I knew he was recording me. That was seven months ago. He kept setting his phone on the table with the microphone toward me. He's a moron. Dugan said the law enforcement was pursuing him because someone had hacked the personal information of sheriff's officials and dumped it on a website that he previously owned. If you watch the Jeff Nadeau interview, uh, he does a lot uh, of embellishing. Now, like I said, I'm not taking the fact away from the fact that he knew John Gotti and that he played a, lot, a, a huge role behind the scenes in the garment industry and with John Gotti, handling his money, setting up a wedding, supposedly. Just, he was like, as he says, that if they ever needed something, they went to Lewis. Now, Sammy had a few choice words for him, which I will do another video on. But we do know that Lewis Kasman does not like Sammy Gravano. Interview, Lewis comes off the top that is playing the victim. After... He gets busted, perjury, uh, wearing wires. He's like, well, no, nah, the FBI, they're telling the lies. They're, you know, the FBI, they're doing this. They're doing this. It's the victim. And then you heard in the 2016 uh, story uh, on the Mark Dugan, the form, former sheriff, deputy, he plays hero, tells the Daily News. If it wasn't for me, if it wasn't for me, that house wouldn't be raided. Well, you know, it seems like this guy should be called Lewis. The wire has. We also know that Lewis Kasman wanted to say that John Gotti once said that he wished John Jr. was a more like Lewis Kasman. See, that's the kind of bullshit, you know, that comes out. And, and it's, in this genre, it's just, it is what it is. Lewis Kasman is somebody who likes to play hero and victim in the media. And I, I think you're going to find that out when Jeff they do interviews and more asking more questions just like i said this is nothing against jeff they do you know he's got to create content this is more at the person that he's interviewing lewis casman i don't know if i like him or not he's supposed to be in the sir lancelot of john Gotti senior ended up being more like the mordred he flipped on the family he wore a recording device with John Gotti's family members, and not to mention other Gambino associates and capos, and you know it is what it is. 
and so what he needs. There's to a rundown on Lewis Casson. So anyway, if you like this video, please go right down below, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment. That does help the channel when it comes to doing the right thing, making this world a better place, helping others out. Try it. It does work. And I'm out of here. Bye-bye.